ABC Montana Morning Sprint. Everything you need to know to start the day. Sponsored by Bitterroot Furniture. Drive a little, save a lot. Yeah, type your morning sprint. Brooke has weather in our headlines. A wildfire is burning at more than 250 acres near the Billings Logan International Airport. Crews have at least 21% contained. Reports came in before one yesterday afternoon when it was quite windy. Then the wind finally slowed later that evening so crews could get a line around most of the fire. At last report, they were trying to tighten up the perimeter. The latest reports say that nobody is evacuated. The Highway Patrol reports a 23-year-old woman from Big Sky died in a crash at Lariat Loop and Sourdough Road near Bozeman. Troopers say the 23-year-old was on a motorcycle at about 2.25 yesterday afternoon when a different vehicle turned onto Sourdough Road and the motorcycle hit that turning vehicle. First responders pronounced the woman dead on the scene. Officials say one airman is dead and five more injured after a vehicle accident at Malmstrom Air Force Base, but we have few details. Officials say four airmen were initially involved in the accident Saturday, then two responded and somehow were also injured too. All five of the injured airmen were taken to medical facilities. Authorities are investigating and we're working to, to get some more information on how this happened. The Montana Continuum of Care Coalition counts more than 2,000 homeless people in our state, with Livingston seeing the highest increase at nearly 29 percent, followed by Missoula, then Bozeman. The HRDC says most of the people who are homeless in Livingston are long-term residents and says Livingston Emergency Shelter needs a continuous support. Bozeman's homeless population has the most living unsheltered at 113. The Supreme Court just voted to let cities enforce ban, bans on homeless encampments in public places. In Missoula, the city council recently adopted a controversial ordinance that restricts where the homeless can camp. And in Bozeman, city officials plan to discuss an ordinance that was passed last year that addresses impacts. Well, the scheduled date for the Missoula Marathon turned out well. Uh, participants say our overcast skies made it much easier. More than 6,000 participants from around the world took part. Missoula native Mark Mesmer secured his fifth win, just over a minute shy of the record. Mesmer hopes to finally break the record next year. Matthew Adams set it in 2014 at 2 hours, 20 minutes, 27 seconds. Well, traffic is busy in Glacier National Park since Rangers open going to the Sun Road. You need a vehicle reservation and parking is limited. And also park rangers are already reporting some issues with drivers and traffic. So they suggest you slow down and be very patient. Well, the time is at 6.57. We are waking up this morning with a couple of lingering showers and some localized dense fog in northwest Montana. Those lingering showers down around southwest Montana throughout the day today. Once again, we do have the threat of a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Uh, after 1 p.m., really area-wide, Kalispell, Missoula, down to Butte and Bozeman. Could have some gusty winds, a little bit of lightning, and some brief heavy rainfall. Pretty similar to what we had yesterday, although winds are not going to be as strong as they were yesterday. We did have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings issued yesterday around southwest Montana. We do expect to see some strong storms developing though uh, from Billings onto Miles City. So if you're going to be traveling or you have friends and family over towards Billings and Miles City, uh, give them a quick text and let them know that they do have the threat of a couple of thunderstorms, uh, severe thunderstorms today. Fourth of July, right around the corner. Thursday, things are looking up. We lose the shower and thunder threat. Temperatures warming back to normal in the upper 70s and low 80s. Celebrating in Missoula will be at 81. Bozeman a bit more comfortable for the 4th of July with temperatures staying in the 70s. Here's a look at your 10 day forecast. Once we get towards Friday though, on into the weekend, high pressure is gonna be building in and we expect a big warm up, upper 80s. Good 10 degrees above normal as we head into the weekend. Next week, a good 10 to 20 degrees above normal, 95 degrees. 
by this time next week in the Missoula area, 97 by next Tuesday, so flat out hot. Enjoy the next couple of days, even though we do have that isolated shower and thunder threat. We'll keep temperatures comfortable. Mid to low 70s today through Thursday in the Bozeman area. Fourth of July setting off those fireworks Thursday night on the cool side as we drop into the 40s. Friday's high temperature will be in the low 80s. That's normal for this time of year, but all bets are off heading into the weekend with high temperatures climbing above normal. Mid 80s for you Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be in the low 90s by the middle of next week. All right, thanks, Brooke. NBC Montana is back tonight with your complete news and weather coverage. We'll have detailed forecasts for Kalispell, Missoula, Butte, and Bozeman. And we'll be working uh, to learn more about that wildfire burning near the Billings Airport.